Hello everyone, so today I decided to stop procrastinating and stop making excuses, just get over with it and just upload the video, that's it. I always wanted to make videos about miniatures and dollhouses, dollhouse kids, um, toys, art toys, whatever, and I decided to make different videos about the things I wanted to make. You know, if I have a dollhouse kit, don't make an entire video that lasts, I don't know, an hour. You're going to get bored and also it's going to be a little bit overwhelming for me, you know, just to edit and to upload an hour video and, you know, I get stressed because I don't finish my project and that way, making different videos, um, you know, my brain doesn't get distracted so easily and I can enjoy the project by getting more dopamine, you know. Here's the first video. Something simple, something cute and something, you know, we both can enjoy the process of it. And of course, the material that you're going to need is a wooden bit, an exactonite, a pen or pencil, something just to write or mark the place they're going to cut, and a Dremel. This is a big project. So let's get started. So as you can see here, I just make a mark to know where it's going to be um, that line, I don't know, the anatomy of the pot. You know that line that we use it to put some soil on it, that mark, that level. So you can see here I realized it was too thin so I decided to make it big. My naive heart thought, you know, you can do this with just a simple exacto knife, a crafting knife, uh, you know, that's what I thought. But then, when I start to carve the, the bead, it was really hard. Like, you can see me struggling right there. It wasn't going to be an easy task. Everything here is it's an experimentation. I am growing with you. I am no expert. And we are on the same boat, on the same page. So at first I started to carve, um, you know, a bunch of materials so I can make progress. But at the end, you know, you need to, to, to choose your battles. That wasn't a battle I want to fight. So I decided to bring the big tools. Hey, look, a bug. You know, I started to carve and it was much more easier. Wasn't expected a wooden bead to be so hard. And there you can see I'm flattening both sides so you can send up the pot. And of course, making you can choose one of the sides to make the hole bigger, or you can just leave it like that. You do you, you know? You can use it just for decoration and you're more interesting in the outside, or you can use it for like realistic miniatures. So, do whatever that suits you. And here, well, you can see my progress. Um, the actual tools you're going to need are going to be big tools. Like, you can make this with a crafting knife alone. You know, it's going to be tough. Or maybe you can be smarter than me and use um balsa wood cube i don't know something for crafting no 
something industrial. Another option that I remember is um, just go to to YouTube. There are a lot of good tutorials for making pots or paper pots or paper plants. I'm going to check a bunch of it and going to put it on the description so you, it's easy for you to get access to those videos. So here you can see I started to sand the little pot and of course you need different sizes, different grids of sand sandpaper. You can see I'm changing uh, from the Dremel to the sandpaper and vice versa. Here I am, kind of flattening uh, the underside of that line that you can see in pots, uh, so it doesn't look so wobbly, it looks clean and nice. So here you can see the final product, um, it's really really cute and tiny, of course I decided to leave it, uh, leave the hole like that. I make another one that I put um, a wooden skewer through the hole. I'm just saying to shortcuts, do whatever that's easier for you. I'm going to glue this pot anyway, so I'm not worried much about the hole. Of course, I'm giving you this advice to you and of course to me, because I'm always wanting things to be perfect. I love tiny things, I love miniatures, so whatever it's, you know, fitting on the palm of your hand and you can lose it easily, that's the stuff that I like. So, of course, I love these pots so much because, look at them, they're so adorable. So, thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel, you can like this video, uh, follow me on my social media, I've got an Instagram, and if you want to support me on coffee, that's cool too. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.